Hey guys, my name is Olivia. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my experience living in Chicago. I've been here for about seven months and definitely it comes with its pros and its cons. <laughs> so if you would like to hear more about the pros and cons of Chicago, just stay tuned. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is more the logistics of moving to Chicago, like transportation, etc. So like I said, transportation. Transportation is very, very easy going here. The CTA is a great option if you don't have a car. Even if you do have a car, you just wanna get, you know, anywhere you wanna go. <laughs> the transit is such a great experience here. I have lived in Atlanta for about 15 years of my life, so most of my life, and um, definitely the MARTA down there, which is the transit, that is in Atlanta is absolutely horrific. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So to come to a city where there's a stop almost in every neighborhood, every little corner, nook, whatever, I enjoy it. Especially even the buses, they have that too. So, and they also have another train line called Metra. So, so many options, so, so many options. And if you have a car, which I do because I'm a Southern girl, so all I know is a car, so I brought my car. If you have a car, it's also a great option as well. Of course, it comes a little more logistics, especially being in a city. I'm not sure where you are coming from, but in city life, parallel parking, street parking that's paid, parking lots, parking tickets, towing. And in those seven months, I had my car towed for the first time. I got parking tickets for the first time. So it's first for everything. <laughs> so yeah, definitely Chicago is interesting when it comes to cars, but just read the rules on the side of where you're parking. So if you're parking on the street, read the sign. And even if there's a signage to not park and it's like two cars away from you, I don't know if I would take that risk and park there because like when my car got towed, it was several spots away from any type of signage that said don't park here. And so I parked thinking, oh, I'm good because there's no signage that says nothing. It was just an empty parking spot. And then boom, my car got towed because the signage that was like four parking spots away also applied to this parking spot. It... <sighs> Basically what I'm saying is, if you have your car here, just move correctly throughout the city. I'm coming from Atlanta. So the traffic here still does not compare to Atlanta. However, there is traffic here, especially when it's the warmer seasons I'm finding. Like when I moved here in December, 2022, traffic almost, I didn't see it almost. Now that is, is Chicago summer, everybody's out and about, people are probably back home. Um, definitely there's traffic everywhere. Um, <laughs> So just be mindful of that if you do move to Chicago. When it comes to housing, I'll definitely say it's a budget for everybody in almost every neighborhood, from as low as as low as something like the 900s all the way up to unlimited, right? <laughs> There's an option for everybody. How does your options look like? It depends. You're not gonna find a $1,000 apartment in the West Loop, which is one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the Chicago area. You might find that price maybe somewhere in the South Side and one of the South Side neighborhoods, like Hyde Park or Bronzeville, or even going up North to like Rogers Park, Logan Square. You might find prices like that, not in abundance, but they're there. But if you go to more inner parts, more like the Loop area, like people um, describe it, which is the downtown area, also River North, slash some other neighborhoods like West Loop, River West, da da da. <laughs> There's a lot of neighborhoods, if you can't understand what I'm saying. There are 77 neighborhoods in Chicago. I, could, I believe they're making two more. So definitely your options are limitless and each neighborhood has its very own unique vibe. So it's really up to you on how you wanna live, where you wanna live, and what's around. I think that's the most enjoyable part about being in Chicago and something that I didn't experience in Atlanta, which is like this, each neighborhood brings its own vibe. Some, like for example, Wicker Park is very artsy, very like go to the thrift store, very more grungy, but still very neighborly. If you live in any neighborhood outside of like the Loop area, so like West Loop, 
um, near north side, uh, river north, etc. You're going to get more neighborhood kind of feeling where like there's storefronts and people are walking on the streets and more homes, more trees, etc. But if you want more of the high rise living, condo life, just, you know, city, city kind of living, then you move into the loop parts of town like River North, etc. Personally, for me, <laughs> for me, um, I am coming from Atlanta where modern features is just the base of things. Like that's where things start. More modern amenities such as a dishwasher or granite countertops or a Google Nest, you know, not a radiator. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Um, so I'm finding that being in Chicago, you get a lot more older charm in your housing. So definitely it's something to consider depending on your budget, depending on if, you're, if that's what you're even looking for or not. So just keep that all in mind if you're coming from like a place like Texas or Georgia or whatever where, where modern new buildings is the norm. Chicago is a great blend of both, but more old than not, especially if you're leaving the loop area. Another little niche thing, if you are a dog person, if you have a dog or you want to have a dog, whatever, come to Chicago. Come to Chicago. I have never seen so many dog owners in my entire life than the moment I moved here. So that's something that I really enjoy because I have a dog, so he gets to meet dogs all the time. So that's a beautiful thing if that's something that you're really looking for. They have a lot of dog parks. They have green spaces here. Once again, comparing it to Atlanta, because that's the only experience that I really have good, comfortable experience in. Atlanta, of course, has more greenery, has more trees. It is called the city of trees or something like that. Like, you know, not a lot of people say that, but that is a thing. So yes, my greenery actually went down coming here. I don't know if you hear the train, but I hear the train. So please ignore the trains. My experience is that I'm seeing less green space here, even though there's a really good amount of green spaces in Chicago. So. Once again, comparing it to Atlanta, there's less greenery here. But comparing it to other big cities, there's a lot of greenery here, a lot of green spaces, lots of parks. There's Lincoln Park, there's Union Park, there's everything. I mean, it doesn't stop. And then also a really great feature about Chicago, since we're talking about the nature aspects of things, the beach, the lakefront access is absolutely stellar. Like you wouldn't even think that you're on a lake. It really looks like an ocean. Cause in my head, it's an ocean. Um, there's sand, the whole nine. Yesterday, for example, I went to the dog beach and it was absolutely amazing. Um, it's called the Montrose Dog Beach. If you have a dog, once again, definitely take your dog there. There was like tons of dogs, but not enough where you can't see yourself, you know, enough. But it was so fun just to kind of see my dog going in the lake and play in the waves and catch the ball, etc. Lots of opportunities to grow community here as well. So to carry that sentence on, if you're moving to Chicago and you don't have a community here, um, there's many opportunities to do so. Lots of nightlife, lots of bars, lots of just daytime things going on, lots and lots and lots of festivals. Festivals that you just don't even know could be a festival. Um, almost every neighborhood, especially in the summertime, they do their own festival. Um, there was like the Taste of Randolph. I think there was like the Taste of like Division or some uh, Taste of Oak Brook, and that's in the suburbs. Like just so many just festivals. Lollapalooza comes every year here, things like that. And I personally love live music. That's one, that's number one or number two. I can't decide. Uh, reasons why I moved here is because of the live jazz music scene. Live music scene in particular, jazz and blues, um, but overall live music in general. There's so many music venues here. There's so many local musicians here. There's so many international people that come here before people your favorite st your favorite musicians are coming here. Such a hub for music, art, and culture. So I definitely appreciate that. I definitely will say though, from my experience, once again, come from Atlanta, the culture here is definitely different. So let's let's pivot. Okay. Knees are crossed, hands is crossed because 
might get a little touchy. Like I said for the hundredth time, I'm coming from Atlanta. So as a black American, <laughs> how can I say this? As a black American coming from Atlanta and only pretty much knowing black spaces, um, born in the Bronx, lived a little bit in Richmond and then Atlanta for the rest. Chicago definitely has a lot of diversity. Um, it just has a different type of diversity that I've never been exposed to. And I think there's something really beautiful about that, but just something that I noticed immediately. Um, lots of Europeans. And I'm not talking about somebody saying, oh, I'm white and my great, 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 great grandfather's from Germany or whatever. Like, no, like these people are coming straight from Germany, straight from Poland, straight from Ireland, straight from Ukraine straight from England, like lots of diversity. Um, also, there's other ethnic groups here, lots of Puerto Ricans here, um, you name it, lots of Filipinos here, lots of Chinese, I mean, you name it, it's here. We even have our own Chinatown. So lots of diversity for sure. You're gonna see more white people than anything Especially if you're living in the north side and I can only talk about the north side let me start from there I never even started from that point but I live in the north side of Chicago and of course we all know about the disparities between the north side and the south side of Chicago um, just not a lot of resources go to the south side and I'm a nurse um, so I know I am a nurse and I'm a hospice nurse so I see patients throughout the whole city and going to the south side um, is definitely a big difference and it's sad because they're paying the same taxes they should be able to have the same amount of resource and the same amount of access to things and um, just something as simple as a bowling alley movie theater I just don't see that down there um, access to clean streets I just don't see that down there so definitely something to know and to and to pay attention to there's a lot of segregation here in chicago and this makes me sad i'm coming from atlanta where everybody was everywhere um all types of people were poor all types of people were rich all types of people were middle class your neighbor you you couldn't even guess what your neighbor was going to look like here you have a pretty good idea who your neighbors are because it's so segregated um so that's definitely my experience. It's my experience and it's a unique experience for me. And also, <laughs> like I just grew up where black people were everywhere. I'm also Jamaican, so my whole life has always been centered around blackness and just that identity not being a lack of in my, in my point of view. So I'm adjusting and it's different. But it's not bad. It doesn't. It didn't stop me from moving here clearly, because I love everything else about the city, and I love this part about the city. It's, it just makes me. It makes me appreciate people in different ways. And it makes me learn. It makes it challenges me, and I'm excited for what's to come with this new exposure. But I do think they need to work on giving the South Side more access to like everything that the north side has to offer is disrespectful i don't see the reason why not you know like give them the resources give them the good schools give them this give them that why why not you know so it's just weird but besides that something that most people don't talk about on youtube um is the fashion <laughs> i'm a fashion photographer so for me i notice fashion very easily and what i find is that the fashion hair is very like neutral colors now people wear a lot of bold colors is what i'm finding out really quick i'm coming from atlanta where everybody dresses up like they're going to the bt awards every night <laughs> you can't step out anywhere without everybody putting on their like brandon blackwood purse their teflar bag neon pink pants palooza pants like just very loud and expressive and um that is something that's different here hair is very more refined chic cleaner lines uh, easier on the eyes when it comes to silhouettes but lack of color um more baggier kind of vibes where it's like a baggier pants with like um some with some reebok sneakers like just very chill very casual 
um, lots of workout clothes. And that's another thing too. It's very much an athletic area. So if you like fitness and you like running, you like all the different types of gyms, yoga classes, you name it, this, that, core, core power yoga, this dance class, that you, whatever it is, Chicago has an abundance of fitness opportunities. So if that's something that you're looking for, then you will have no problem with keeping a healthy lifestyle here because it almost motivates you to be more, um, to have a more active lifestyle just because it's pretty much all you see when you're walking on the streets is somebody is running, somebody is headed to a gym class of some sort. You can tell with their outfit and stuff. So coming from the South, as we all know, the South is just, um, we like to eat. And people like to eat here too, but people work it off. You know what I'm saying? If you get what I'm saying, cool. Definitely, like everybody named Mama knows about Chicago, especially if you're watching this video, you probably already noticed, but Chicago has one of the best food scenes here. Um, unbelievable. Remember when I said, I don't know if it was one or two? This is definitely one of those one or twos. This is the live music and food. I can't tell which one is my, the first reason why I moved here or the second reason why I moved here, but the food scene is amazing. And, and you just don't know what you're gonna run into. Um, I'm Jamaican, like I said earlier, and I can't really find my cuisine here in abundance, which is really interesting coming from places where Jamaican food was almost in every other block, uh, more or less. But definitely the Greek food here is astonishingly good. Um, what else is really good here? The American food is really good here. Um, lots of just different options and everybody in every restaurant asks as if you have any allergies, like, do I have an allergy? Like, yes, I do. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just really interesting that they keep that in mind. And like a lot of people here in Chicago knows their chef. So it's just interesting culture because people will say, oh, did you see this new restaurant open up? Chef Boyardee. <laughs> chef Boyardee finally opened his establishment on this street and he has a location in New York. I can't, I'm so excited to try Chef Boyardee's food because I heard such great raving reviews in his New York location. Like people know their chefs here. Very unique to kind of hear people talk about food in a more artistry way here. So I really appreciate that. Just because I try to find, I like to find art in everything that I do and everything that I surround myself with. So definitely something that I really enjoy about Chicago. I would say a con with Chicago, however, is that taxes is really high here in Chicago. That's a major con for me. Something that made me pause before moving here. Um, for example, the salary that I made in Georgia, I made less in Georgia than in Chicago, but because of the taxes here, I make the same amount that I made in Atlanta. <laughs> and it's just wild to me. Um, and even just simple things like your groceries, everything just adds up. So I believe it's like 10%. It's very high. So just keep that in mind. That's something that is important to you. If you're buying a house, if you're just your daily living, that is a big con to me. And another con that some people might say is a con, depends on how you feel about it. It's a very transient city, so lots of transplants are here. However, not a lot of people stay forever. Um, granted, there's a lot of people that stay here, of course, but there, there are a lot of people that don't. So, so people might do their five to 10 years here and they go. So just consider that because sometimes when building community here, I find that people don't wanna latch on because they feel like, they about to go out anyways. Or I don't know, it's just this weird thing where it's like people want to be in community because there's so many people here looking for community, but at the same time, nobody's really like doing it. You know, that could just be my experience. That could just be me. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm the drama. But that is something that I have been navigating lately is just trying to find community here, especially in the north side of Chicago. Um, if I find that a lot of people already have their people, so it's hard to kind of find people or people move to this city with friends already in place and I do not. So, um, definitely something that I'm navigating now that's a little bit warmer and I feel the urge to make a friend or two. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely, I'm going to give you all a one-year update and add some more things to that list of things. Maybe a little bit more niche and not talking about things like transportation and housing, but more so about like my true experience here. I want to give it a full 365. So, but anyways, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!